Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Guys, if you have any of the following four codes, guys, the codes that you see in the corner of the video, I'm talking about code P0201 all the way to 204. If you have one, two, or maybe uh, more codes, guys, we'll explain how to fix each of those codes. Most of the times you'll get only one of them, guys, and we'll explain why and what needs to be done to fix that on a 2.4 multi-air engine. And that 2.4 multi-air engine, guys, it has been used on so many vehicles. It's been used in Dodge Dart, Chrysler 200, Jeep Cherokee, Jeep Compass, Jeep Renegade, Dodge Ram Pro Master City guys, Fiat 500X and Fiat Toro pickup in Brazil as well guys. So uh, it's very popular engine. Now if you have any of those following four codes, we'll explain how to fix that. Quick introduction. Every single car we get at the shop, including this engine here, we take them completely apart guys. Uh, why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys. Hopefully you will find the information helpful. Now, if you guys need to buy any replacement parts, tools, anything like that, check out the link in the description of the video below. We will share it for your convenience. Now, this is a 2015 Dodge Dart that we will demonstrate on. Uh, but it will be the same guys for the whole generation vehicles with that 2.4 multi-air engine. Uh, this is the original engine cover black this is the one that we painted we'll be making videos soon on how to paint one so check it out guys uh, it's not very complicated but you can see how you can paint yours now when you guys get that code what you're going to experience okay first thing that you can experience guys your car may idle rough your car may be okay uh, maybe running on three cylinders instead of four guys because one of the fuel injectors will not be working and how we know that now okay let me explain quick looking at the engine this way guys okay fuel injectors are on the back side stay with us until the end i'm going to show you exactly where they're located starting this way you can see we have ignition codes we have cylinder number one two three and four if you guys have code p0201 it means that it relates to the fuel injector on cylinder number one if you guys have 202 it's to the second cylinder guys and so forth let's say p20 uh, p 0204 guys this is cylinder number four fuel injector now we guys have the same engine like this one here out of the car guys because we did an engine replacement not too long ago on another vehicle and i want to show you guys okay what this one looks like this is the same engine but facing the other way this is the back side of the engine that uh, we cannot see guys because it's too close to the body this is where the serpentine belt is located right here and looking at you guys, okay, ignition codes are down there. Looking at it, okay, we have the fuel injectors, okay, right there. This is the fuel rail, guys, fuel rail. And then you have fuel injectors, cylinder number one, two, three, and four. Now we start on this side because the engine is flipped on the other side. So we have four fuel injectors. If you guys have a code P0201, uh, you have a bad fuel injector or loose connection, wire connection on cylinder number one. P0202 will be cylinder number two, and then so far, go, guys, you go until, okay, you reach 204 will be cylinder number four fuel injector. If you want to see how to remove and replace them, we have the video from start to finish on the channel. Check it out, not very complicated. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful to any of you trying to do that. Thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.